What's up, BC? It's Paul. I'm back. Um, thanks for all your responses to to my first video. Um, you know, it was kind of it was awesome to see you guys comment and subscribe. So, figured I'd uh, I'd hop on board and and keep doing some videos. Um, so, wanted to do a quick one um, on some recent finds, and um, I took the the family to um, Nashville on a trip over Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we went to visit my boy Drew, uh, Mayhem Kind. If you haven't, uh, if you don't follow him on on his channel. Uh, he's got some great stuff, and he's really, um, really been the one that's gotten me into collecting, so he's responsible for that. Uh, got me into jazz, and, and he's taught me a lot on, on the subject of just collecting and music, so thank you, buddy. Um, shout out to you. Go follow him if you, if you don't already. Um, so yeah, we went down to, to visit them, and we were able to hit up a few shops um, while, while we were there. Um, and he also hooked me up with, with some of his, uh, his good blue notes and jazz that he was thinning the herd with. So uh, I appreciate it. Um, so first I wanted a quick show, um, before we went, I found, I went to a local shop and, um, hadn't been there before, but I found, um, I found this one that I was really stoked about. Um, been getting into blues a little bit more, um, and, Everything I've heard by Freddie King is, is just killer. Um, so I had to pick this up. Getting ready. So um, original on, um, on Shelter Records. I hadn't seen that label before. Um, this is killer. He's shredding on the guitar. Vocals are amazing. Uh, great songs. And look at that cover. So... I was very pumped um, to have this. Uh, I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised. So if you haven't heard that one, check it out. Um, so yeah, we um, went down to Nashville. It was a nice weekend. Um, I'll show you some of the, the blue notes he hooked me up with, some of the jazz, um, some of his reissues, but I had to hop on them. Um, you know, he gave me, gave me a great deal and hooked me up. So um, he had some... French and Japanese pressings, which I don't have any of yet, so I was excited to have some of these, so I'll show them quick. There's a French. Another French killer title. You guys all know it. Workout, Hank Mobley. We got four silver as well, French. Six pieces of silver. Um, and then here's some of the Japanese ones. So we got some West Montgomery. <clears throat> some more Wes. Oh, some Thelonious Monk. More Monk. That was on Riverside. Not all of them are Blue Note, but... Still great titles. This one's amazing. I'm glad he, he parted with this. Iron City, Grant Green on Cobblestone. Love Grant Green. All his stuff is great, as you guys know. Um, and then this one's pretty cool too. Mustang, Donald Bird. This is a Liberty Press on the different label. I can't remember what year, but Still sounds good, so had to hop on those. Um, so to into the Nashville shops, um, we went to um, Fano Lux first, which um, which is a cool shop. Um, good selection, a lot of um, they had a good good supply of stuff. Fun fun fact, um, it's kind of a kind of a bummer, but we went on Saturday, and uh, I think later on on Monday we found out that. Now, the next day on Sunday, um, Robert Plant stumbled into the shop, um, made an appearance. So we missed him by a day. Um, that would have been my, my Music City celebrity, um, you know, celebrity witness, I guess. Um, but uh, it was kind of cool. So missed him by a day. But anyway, um, got a couple ones there. Um, 
I've been, I'm, I told you guys, I'm a little bit newer collector, so I've been trying to fill in some of the, you know, classic rock essentials and, and um, other essentials that um, I just don't have yet. So um, this one fell into that category. Um, I'm more of a Beatles guy, um, so I've got a lot of their, um, their, their titles already. Um, been falling, falling behind on the stones. So uh, I saw this one, Beggar's Banquet. It's an 85 reissue, but um, it was in pretty good condition. So jumped on that. So good, good to have that one. Um, and the other one I found here uh, at that shop was um, some more blues. Johnny Taylor, raw blues. Um, haven't spun this one yet, but um, on stacks. But I'm excited to. This is his second record. Um, his first one is actually should be here in the mail from VMP um, soon, maybe a week or two. So I'm excited to spin both of those. It'll be good stuff. Um, I listened to his. I streamed his first one. Um, you guys probably know him, but. Sounded like, you know, it sounds kind of uh, like an Otis Redding, but there's some nice guitar on it, and, and um, you gotta love it. So, um, those are some good finds. So, next we went to Grimey's, which is an awesome shop. It was probably my, my favorite in terms of just, you know, the atmosphere and, and what they've got. Um, so, I found a couple things there. Um, Gabor. Gabor Zabo. Um, all his stuff is great. So I've got a snag. I had to snag that. More sorcery. Again, I haven't spun it yet, but um, this is a, uh, a live recording. But all his stuff is awesome, as you guys know. Um, the other one I snagged there was One Foot in the Gutter. The Dave Bailey Sextet. This is a classic series, um, or a classic records reissue. Um, but uh, I spun this the other night, and it's it's a live recording. It's it's really it's really great. I, I loved it. So it's gotten. I think it's it's um, it's gotten some good positive reviews from from you guys in the community. So um, if you haven't heard it, um, check it out. It's good, great stuff. All right. So um, the last shop we went to. Um, um, we, uh, it was, she had some great stuff. Um, she actually had some Lee Morgan she pulled out, um, when, uh, when we told her we were into jazz. We didn't hop on them though. The, the condition was a little off, uh, a little, a little uh, under what we wanted for what she was asking, but, um, we found some other great, great titles there, great stuff. So, um, The Jimmy um, Giffre three. Let's see, music for people's people, birds, butterflies, and mosquitoes. So I love the cover, love the the, the title. Um, see the band on the back there. Um, so this is I got to spin it uh, again. Um, it reminded me a little of Yusuf Latif, just with the you know the flute and and just kind of that that freeness, um, you know that airiness, um, but. Uh, really good stuff so happy to have that one um this one was a great find another blue note title um original um sounds like kind of underrated title um jack wilson something personal again i gotta spin this one but um it's uh it's, uh, I was happy to have this. I got it for, for a good, good deal, I think. And, and the condition was very nice. So, um, awesome, awesome find as well. And was able to get, um, some, some, uh, black sploit exploitation, um, funk Booker T from uptight the film, um, good condition as well. Um, uh, Drew told me that it was pretty funky and I like it so I snagged that but again I gotta spin that um I think I'm missing yeah the other one I found was that I've been looking for for a little bit um 
I missed on like the VMP reissue, so I was able to snag Mr. Hands, Herbie Hancock. Um, I love some of the tracks on here. Um, Spiraling Prism is, is really cool to me. Um, this is in the shrink, got the hype sticker on it, good condition, so I jumped on that as well. This is an original, so cool stuff there. Um, so that's for the most part, I mean, I, I took home a lot from, from his collection too. Um, so again, I'm grateful for that. Um, so I've got a lot to spin here in the next, um, next couple weeks. Um, but, uh, it was a good haul, great trip. Um, so excited to go out and dig again, but I've got some stuff to keep me occupied for a bit. So I wanted to show you guys, um, let me know in the comments, um, about some of the, the stuff I showed or, or um, you know, any, any insight you have on them. Um, and, uh, um, looking forward to making some more videos for you on, on hopefully some, some new finds soon when I get out digging again. But in the meantime, um, enjoy your guys' summer, enjoy, get out and enjoy the weather a little bit, depending on where you live. Um, but, uh, keep on spinning as well. Enjoy some tunes and, uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Peace.